Hi Bruce from Safari and uh, just have a look at this LC200. We did show you the pack earlier in the week. We've got the cell fire and the UHF antenna up. Let's go back and meet Andrew. Alrighty, and let's say hello to Andrew. Andrew, how are you? Good, Brucey. Evening, evening, guys. Well, we're here with the 200, and um, as you guys know, we've uh, we've been building this something special that hasn't been done before in terms of this capacity. Uh, Bruce, as you know, our, both our phones have been going hot, and uh, it's complete. So we're here to show you after six days of this full build, we're here to show you what we've got in store. So. We're doing the shoot at night, just to show you guys the, light, the lightness that comes through based on a camping scene. Uh, obviously it's not, we're not camping, but this is where, uh, this is what's gonna happen for you when you're out there, wow. so. I just love that opening light, eh? <laughs> yeah, it's stunning. Got some good light out here, Bruce, which is all dimmable. Um, and control panels are in view. You got the fridge, the display, uh, coffee machines on the left-hand side, we'll get to in a minute. All the switches are here. Uh, easy accessible, so we can still run our, our amber lighting, um, our drawers, our USB cables all through here, and our 240. So we'll drop the tail, and voila. Aha, uh -huh. let's look at this detail, eh? It's look stunning. At that fit. Look Absolutely at that stunning. Fit. Fitness, eh? Absolutely stunning. So we've got, uh, we've got the fridge drawing, Scotty doing that's uh, bi directional, um, USBs, uh, Type C's. ARB air compressor, old GPOs, and we got oh, yeah. cooktops. <laughs> Dual induction, 3000 watt. That comes out, you've got your storage inside here, nice deep cupboards, um, great looking unit. Obviously more storage inside, we'll swing around. Um, and as you guys know, we've got a 60 angle in here, quite a tight fit, but it does fit and it's quite nice. Um, so if we run that out, that's running at the moment and yeah, so it's absolutely stunning. Quite neat, I think. Quite deep, quite beautiful. Uh, so this is the this is one of Black Label's probably uh, nicest designs, I think. The whole unit is great, but I think this part here is just you know the servery. Uh, as you can see, we've got some coffee bags in there, guys. So some organic coffee going out with this setup uh, for the Nespresso pod machine, which we can uh, pull out here. And just like that, you're pulling some espresso shots in the morning, you can prep your breakfast, you got your milks in there, milks and cereals all going on. Mrs. is happy, you're out there camping, uh, you've got you know, your ocean views or wherever you're at, or if it's at night, you've got your beautiful stunning. We've set up lock, rock lights in here that are all dimmable. Uh, there's some draw lights going on, but yeah, how stunning is that? Just fantastic, eh? And the total uh, access to the top there is through the side wings. Through the isn't side, it? yeah, through the side windows as well, which is straight in here. So we can go straight in and put the bags. Oh, look what I found here, Scotty! <laughs> and you put your bag straight on the top there, so you can get access to all your baggage. And let's have a look in the rear. Right here. Let's do that. And Andrew, how's this look? Standard seating, Bruce. Um, so no adjustments to this whatsoever. Uh, what more can you ask for? Plenty of right leg room through here. You got all the reclining space that you need. So uh, we can drop these now and show the, what I call the engine room. So you get your side there, Bruce. Yep. One hand. There we go. So um, we've got everything going on here, as we all know. Uh, we've got the, the Victron uh, 5,000 watt inverter unit, 600 amp, hours of lithium batteries they're all 48 volt there's three of them at 200 amp each we've got the uh, uh the mppt smart solar controller we've got the turbo gx the brains of the unit that brings all the information back to the uh to the screen for the user smart battery protect on the 12 volt side we've got uh, smart shunts in there where we can read battery isolators fuses uh and the 4g which is very important for uh, you know, for diagnosing or, or, or technical support along uh, people's journey. So that's always uh, on hand for people to be able to log in and, uh, and inspect the system and make sure that it's, it's running efficiently. We've got uh, solar input um, and then there's uh, cell fire tucked underneath here, which the aerial runs out to uh, the Rhino platform. So yeah, it's a stunning setup. Absolutely stunning oh, setup. Thanks, Andrew. And now we're going to have a look to see just exactly what power we pull out of this because we're at 5,000 watt inverter. Now the question is asked, why do you want so much power in the back of the LC200? 
So apart from the cooking, let me show you how easy this is. Turn this on, select. We're now on uh, high now, but the van at the back here is pulling 933 watts. Let's just see what happens now that we've turned on the induction. We're now up to 2,700 watts. And this is why we put the power on the LC200. If you follow this blue lead here, it goes back to the home of Espresso 79. And that's their caravan they bought in specially for this test. And that's the power. We're powering up the heater and the aircon in that van at the moment coming uh, back through this lead. So with the LC79, if you're towing, you can just plug your van into the power point. It's a 15 amp power point down here. And we've got the induction powered into the other 2,777 watts. Absolutely no issue at all. You can actually, this is a 3,000 watt another pot on here we can be cooking. We can run the coffee machine at the same time now. Uh, we can yeah. put an air fryer on at exactly the same time. And that's why we've got 5,000 watts and not a 3,000 watt inverter. And note, the batteries are only half full at the moment. So Andrew, you want to start up? Well, let's just have a look. And if we start up at the moment, you'll see that the power that we get out of Scotty. Here we are at idle now, and we're doing uh, 13, 1350 watts. We just take the revs up a bit. Now we're up close to two and a half thousand watts. Nearly as much as what we're taking out is occurring at the bottom coming back in here. Just a phenomenal amount of power that we're pulling out with uh, Scotty. Not that we want you, thanks Andrew, not that we want you to be idling while you're cooking, you don't need to do that. It's just to show you that if you were short of power uh, from solar, uh, then this is the this is far, far better uh, than you'll ever get out of solar. Lights are off. I'd have to say, what do you think, Andrew? How good's that? It's fantastic. <laughs>